today I'll be showing you on how to connect um, panoramic camera V8 Zero to a remote network. I just got one here and I want to access this camera from a long distance from anywhere you are in the world. But it's actually possible the camera is not just limited to wireless alone. You can actually access this camera using a router, a Wi-Fi network, and you can access the network. The camera, even when it's placed here, you can access it anywhere you are in the world. And this is what I want to show you. But first of all, what you need to do, you need to power your camera. And I, so I, I have a camera, sometimes it boots. It, it will boot me. And for you to connect to the remote network, you will need um, two devices. You, you, you then need a, a router, a Wi-Fi router that will boot. Now the camera is coming up. Then I you don't need a router that they are going to use to connect your camera with your phone, or you can spare another phone device on to, to, to connect with your router and your phone. But if you don't need two network provider, one that, that will be with your camera, that will power your camera network to share your live streaming out, or use your phone. So I'm going to show you all this now. Now, now, my, this aspect has been created. So now, 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 I'm going to use my phone or sports to connect to this, uh, my mobile app of the V8, then share with you. But, so, in order to connect your, when your camera is on, in order to connect your camera to the most network, you need to have two network available. The first network is going to repair your camera with your phone. And that network will remain with the camera so that you, you can be able to access it because the network is going to empower the camera to send your the video stream live on the network. So why you can now watch with your phone. But the first thing you need to do is to, dive, is to download the V8, um, uh, V3, V8, uh, V380 app from the Play Store. You need to go to Google Play Store if you're using an Android phone to download the app on your phone. I had download the app on your phone. Then you need to connect the app with the router network you're going to pair with the camera. So I'm going to show you the processes as it goes. But first of all, let me log into the app. Thank you. So now I have my network available now. And I'm connecting my phone to another mobile phone that gave me an hotspot, which is the second uh, network connected to my phone. Now that's this MV one two three nine two seven six eight. This is my camera hotspot, but then I'm connected to my phone, or my other phone network that supplying me internet access. So now, now I cannot go in access now. That is, I cannot go in to log into my V eight three eight zero app. Then. So you, you can log in. Now, then, if you just download the app newly, you need to sign up with your email. But if you have the app before, you can log in with your email and password. So let's assume you have actually signed up and have created an account. You just log in. Now, what you need to do is to add device. You click on add device. Then you will click smart Wi-Fi camera. Then you click on AP hotspot connection. Now, now it, it will send it will see your third party network, which is the one that's supplying your phone. Supplying your phone. Sometimes I I don't advise you to use a normal phone network because the network you are going to use to pair the app with the camera will, be, will remain uh, permanently close to the camera. And you can't go that network because the one that will supply the camera, the, the signal that is going to access. So I, I feel that it's going to be a dedicated network that is going to live 
that because that network is not a register to, to the camera. So you use an external network that you can sacrifice for your camera. So now, now I'm going to click on this. Now, now this, my own network now, you have to enter your network password. My network password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is my own hotspot network password, but you can use your own hotspot, create your own hotspot and the password. You ask for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you don't make mistakes or it will not connect. Then you click confirm. And after confirming it, it has, the app has connected to my network. Then I can now click connect app spot. Then I answer, I know. Now, now it's now asking me to pair with my camera hotspot. But now, most times, it, it will ask you to on your location. But my location is on. That was why it don't ask me. So, most times, it normally asks for the on, the on your GPS location. So, I will click on my camera hotspot. Then, you can see it's just connected to my camera hotspot. Then, you just back it. You can back it up. You see now, it's connecting. The most time it takes a lot of time. And I guess. But into a size patient. Nah, it doesn't. So it took a lot of time. So it starts to connect. So when when the Wi-Fi is connected, it will take you to this uh part of the app. We say we say completed. It now asks you to type your device name. And well, you can type anything you like, but I'll just use the default, maybe home. I'm using that home, and I click finish. Then when I click finish, now now my Camera is actively on LAN, uh, on on one wide network. So when I click on play, it will try to connect to the camera. It, it asks you to set an ad, ad, admin password. So I can first set my admin password to let me say uh, Iceman twenty four. Iceman twenty four. Though it's weak password, but it's confirmed. No, no. I've set the admin password and I cannot log into the camera. You can see now, I've logged into the camera. Uh, you can see, it's, it's, my hand is on the camera. You see, as it is now, I'm actually streaming this camera live with my internet signal. So even if I leave this area and I travel to America, I travel to Japan, I travel to Algeria, I travel to India. I will see. I will see. I will see. I will see. I will see this camera from anywhere I am, provided I my dedicated. You see, provided I have a dedicated hotspot, communication with the with the camera. Because now the camera, I have to dedicate the hotspot I have created for it. The available with the camera anywhere I am. This hotspot will be able to uh, give me access to the streamline the camera from the app. So that means I have to leave one of my hotspots that I appear with it down with the camera whenever I'm going somewhere. So I can wait to access the camera on the network. So like this, you can actually pair your V80 with remote area network. I can streamline what's happening around my area. This is my studio, my cam, robot is owning my light, and you can see that. And my drone, I work at Arc Robotics, and my myself having a good camera view. So, thank you so much. Try this. If you have issues, you can drop your comment on my comment sessions. Oh, like glad to help you out. Thank you. Goodbye.